Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about complex conjugates. So first, what are complex conjugates? Complex conjugates are numbers with the same real part and opposite imaginary parts. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. They're of the form, so if we have one number a plus bi, where a is the real part and b plus, uh, bi is the complex part, then its complex conjugate is a minus bi. So notice that the a is the same, and the bi and the negative bi are exact additive opposites. Why are these so special? Well, it's all in their product. So let's look at the product of a plus bi times a minus bi. And if we do that, that would be a times a is a squared. a times negative bi would be negative a bi. bi times a would be positive a bi. And positive bi times negative bi would be minus b squared i squared. Okay, so cleaning this up we would have a squared, this would cancel with that, and then we have minus b squared times i squared, but i squared is equivalent to negative 1, so this would be negative 1 times negative b squared, which ends up being positive b squared. So what's so special about this? Well, a is a real number and b is a real number, so when you multiply two numbers that are complex conjugates of each other, you end up getting a real number. So they're special because their product is a real number. And why do we like that so much? Well, because it's a real number. Um, we, like, we like the fact that it's a real number because when we divide uh, complex numbers, we can't have a complex denominator. So this allows us to get the, real, the, the imaginary part out of the denominator. Let's look at some practice here. What is the complex conjugate of each number shown? So we have 5 minus i, keep the real part the same, and change the sign of the imaginary part so it become 5 plus i. In letter b, we have negative 1 plus 4i, keep the real part the same, just change the sign of the imaginary part. Okay. And then, what is the product of the number shown below and its complex conjugate? So we're multiplying the number shown below to its complex conjugate. So first we're just going to start off with this number, and then what's the complex conjugate here? Keep the real part the same, add the, we, we see that it was minus, so I changed it to plus 2i. This would give us 16 plus 8i minus 8i minus 4i squared. This would become negative 4 times negative 1, so this becomes plus 4. The 8i and the negative 8i cancel, we have 16 plus 4, so we end up with a result of 20. In our next example, we have negative 6 plus 11i. The complex conjugate of that would end up being negative 6 minus 11i. And then when we go to multiply, negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. Negative 6 times negative 11i will be positive 66i. Positive 11i times negative 6 will be negative 66i. And then positive 11i times negative 11i will be negative 121i squared. In the middle, those terms cancel, those imaginaries. And then this, negative 121, well, i squared will become negative 1. So we will multiply that. Negative times negative becomes positive. We get 36 plus 121, which would be 157. And that's it. That's all there is to it with these complex conjugates. Thank you for stopping by.